Hi friends, and welcome to your daily devotional for Thursday, March 25th, 2021. Today is the Feast of Annunciation, which means it's nine months until Christmas. Today is the day that the church has traditionally celebrated the coming of the angel Gabriel to Mary. We've got a little Christmas in March. March is Women's History Month, and so all of this month our prayers have been coming from women. And today our prayers come from a book called Say Amen, the African American Family's Book of Prayers, edited by Chestina Mitchell Archibald. This week we are talking about Reformation. As we have explored, Reformation requires an external force pushing upon us. So in the next few moments, I invite you to think about how being a part of our community of faith has had a reforming effect on you. Our word from the psalmist today comes from Psalm 40, verses 5 through 10 from the New Revised Standard Version. Listen now for God's word to us. You have multiplied, O Lord, my God, your wondrous deeds and your thoughts toward us. None can compare with you. Were I to proclaim and tell of them, they would be more than can be counted. Sacrifice and offering you do not desire, but you have given me an open ear. Burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. Then I said, here I am in the scroll of the book. It is written of me. A delight to do your will. Oh my God, your law is written on my heart. I have told the glad news of deliverance in the great congregation See, I have not restrained my lips, as you know, O Lord. I have not hidden your saving help within my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your steadfast love and your faithfulness from the great congregation. Let us pray. Father, Mother, God of us all, who resides within us all, your name is divine. Your presence is universal. Your spirit is manifested in and through us. All our needs are satisfied. We release ourselves from self-made bondage as we release others. For your kingdom is the only reality and the only power throughout eternity. So it is. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today comes from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 7, verses 10 through 14 from the Message Bible. Hear God's word. God spoke again to Ahaz. This time he said, ask for a sign from your God. Ask anything. Be extravagant. Ask for the moon. But Ahaz said, I'd never do that. I'd never make demands like that on God. So Isaiah told him, then listen to this, government of David. It's bad enough that you make people tired with your pious, timid hypocrisies, but now you're making God tired. So the master is going to give you a sign anyway. Watch for this. A girl who is presently a virgin will get pregnant. She'll bear a son and name him Emmanuel. God with us. In Eugene Peterson's paraphrase here, God is kind of sassy. Why do you think God responds this way to Ahaz, who is really doing what God would want us to do? by refusing to test God. Our 
Our New Testament reading today comes from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 through 38. And this is from the Common English Bible. Listen again for God's word to us. When Elizabeth was six months pregnant, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a city in Galilee, to a virgin who was engaged to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David's house. The virgin's name was Mary. When the angel came to her, he said, Rejoice, favored one. The Lord is with you. She was confused by these words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. The angel said, Don't be afraid, Mary. God is honoring you. Look, you will conceive and give birth to a son and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. He will rule over Jacob's house forever, and there will be no end to his kingdom. Then Mary said to the angel, How will this happen, since I haven't had sexual relations with the man? The angel replied, The Holy Spirit will come over you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the one who is to be born will be holy. He will be called God's Son. Look, even in her old age, your relative Elizabeth has conceived a son. This woman who is labeled unable to conceive is now six months pregnant. Nothing is impossible for God. Then Mary said, I am the Lord's servant. Let it be with me just as you have said. Then the angel left her. Friends, this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. One of the downfalls of communicating in writing is that we miss out on body language and tone of voice. Mary seems to consent here, saying, let it be with me just as you have said. In your mind, what was her body language like? What was her tone of voice? Let us pray. O oh God, let fear die and conviction be born in our lives. Let your light dawn in our minds as the day dawns on the earth. Let us not be so busy hurrying into the future and worrying about the past that we lose today, the only one we have. God, help us to do what we know we have to do today and leave tomorrow to you. Amen. Friends, may the peace of God enfold you, the love of God uphold you, and the wisdom of God control you. Go in peace and take care. I'll see you tomorrow.